All right, Bulls and Bears, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again today. It is July 19th, Friday, 2024. Um, what have I been telling you? What have I been saying about the second half of 2024? Today, the biggest IT outage in history. Uh, this was a update uh, involving Microsoft and CrowdStrike, involving thousands of different businesses. Airliners were stuck in the air because they couldn't get the information that they needed to land. Uh, phones were out at many different companies. If you tried to call companies today to pay a bill or ask a question about your insurance policy, lots of different call centers were down for hours, folks. This was just a test run, folks. It's going to get even crazier. You're not going to believe the things that are going on behind the scenes, behind the scenes of our financial system, behind the scenes uh, politically, uh, socially. You're going to see, I think, some unrest this year. I think it might be another record breaker. Uh, just like today, it was a record breaking outage. I think we're going to see some record breaking, uh, and not in a good way, record breaking situations pop up this year. Uh, the economy is close to the end. Most people barely hanging on. Of course, you're not going to see people crying in the streets because I think most people are ashamed of their, their financial situation. When you have 70% of people living paycheck to paycheck, that's pretty sad. Uh, a lot of people will try to mask uh, the sadness, I think, in, in many different ways. Some people go out and spend more money. <laughs> That's their solution to uh, feeling better about being in debt and living paycheck to paycheck is they go out and spend more money. They say, okay, I might as well just have some fun. Spend as much money as possible, but let's get caught up on the news. Please make sure you are subscribed. I think we're the only channel here to tell you exactly the time frames for these things happening. We know what happened Saturday at the at the presidential rally. Um, what day was that? A uh, week ago, tomorrow, tomorrow will be a week, so six days ago. We know that these things are just going to escalate. Today was just a test run, I think, for a much larger outage. Now, what happened today was not a cyber attack. I've been saying that one of the things... That I think would um, be a big um, black swan would be an attack. Uh, today wasn't that. Supposedly it was just an update. So is that just the cover story? Because maybe there was a an attack behind the scenes that they don't want to reveal. They don't want to scare people, right? Kind of like the bank runs. They don't want to let people know the bad shape of the banks because they don't want bank runs. I don't think they want people panicking. Uh, but businesses worldwide today grappled with an ongoing major IT outage. Uh, doctor's offices were disrupted, air travel, TV broadcasts, right? The list goes on. I'm sure you guys have been hearing nothing but nonstop news about it. But I want to underpin not just what happened today, but that this was just the tip of the iceberg. Do you think I've been predicting this just for no reason? Or do you think there might be some historical um, previous examples uh, for what we're seeing today, what we saw last week, what we're going to see in the coming months. Folks, when the economy gets close to the end, um, there has to be a scapegoat. There has to be something huge to come in and cover this whole thing up. Otherwise, the people that engineer this economy into the current situation will be the ones to blame. They don't want the blame. They want to blame it on something else. Point the finger over here, point the finger over there. What's gonna happen next? Will it be a cyber attack? Will all the banks go down? Uh, will there be some other attack, not cyber, but real life attack like world war three type of thing right so look out folks um if you're on the short end of the market my short positions uh today did very well i say short positions i just mean i'm betting against them betting that the stocks go down and um those, both of those did very well today for those of you that are watching those trades uh it's nvidia and um gosh i'm tired can't even think of the other one rivian <laughs> excuse me rivian electric Mill company vehicle company. Those were down today, so I actually made some money on those. Hope you are uh, benefiting, and I hope some of you are going to actually benefit from, I think, the uh, the turmoil that we're going to see going forward here. Um, yeah, a lot of planes stuck in the air. Imagine being in a plane, and you don't know if and when you're going to be able to land, but you do know that the fuel in the plane is not going to last forever, so that could have made for some very, uh, very stressful flights. Um, just some other news here, just some of the headlines on what we saw today. Um, what an insane day. It's going to get even crazier, though. All right, but um, let's just take a step back here. If you've been on this channel for the last six months to a year, even close to two years ago, I started saying, look out because the second half of 2024, you're going to start seeing some wild things happen. Again, do you think it's just a coincidence that these things are happening? Or 
Is there something bigger going on behind the scenes? Please let me know what you think about all this down in comments. You think I just have a crystal ball? See the little ball back there? I used to pick it up and, and tell you what's going to happen, folks. There's a historical precedent for what we're seeing today. It's not just a crystal ball. It's not, I say just because, yeah, sometimes I look in the crystal ball. But there is a historical precedence. Typically, things go wild when the economy gets to where it's at now. Um, we saw what happened in 2020. 2020 would have been an economic downturn, but they came in and they threw helicopter money at the problem we created. The, mo the most money we've ever seen created in the last four years was more money in the previous 20 years before that. Right? It was massive. Um, also, real quick on the, uh, on the IT outage again here today. They're reporting that the glitch could take weeks to fix. So you might want to just get some preparations, some extra food, some money out of the system in case we start seeing something else or other things go haywire, right? Again, this is not a coincidence. This is happening. This is my opinion, right? So a um, couple other things I wanted to touch on today. Are we seeing the safety plays here in the markets here? Let's go ahead and get into some other uh, numbers here. All markets were down today, surprisingly not that much, less than 1% on all the major indices. Oil was down 3%. Wow, gold and silver both down over 2%. Bond yield up slightly, 10-year uh, bond up to 4.23%, folks. Bitcoin, big gainer today, up 4.5%. Uh, so is the flight to safety, in this case, cryptos? I would be... Concerned, though, about keeping anything online, right? Some people with cryptos, they have paper wallets. But if you see more outages, then even crypto is not going to be a safety run. It's going to be more physical metals, in my opinion. Now, keep in mind, the numbers that I just read you today for gold and silver were the digital or the paper price. Remember, the physical price is detached. You cannot get the physical amount or the physical silver or, or gold for those numbers that I just read off to you, right? So... There's manipulation done to keep the price suppressed because central banks around the world are accumulating precious metals, hard assets. So they want to buy these things. Also, silver has massive manufacturing usage. Uh, it al it's also used in weaponry. So the defense contractors, the defense companies, the solar companies, all the technology companies that use it, they want the price suppressed so they can continue to accumulate that at a suppressed price. I think most of you know that, but... Just have to throw that out there for the newer viewers. Um, let's go over to UK real quick. The UK, steep rise in bankruptcies. Right? Why do I say this? Why are we talking about the UK? I'm in the United States. I'm in San Diego, California. Because I have to remind people that this is not about the leadership, right? Does leadership stink? Yes, it does stink here in the United States. Is changing the leadership this November going to change anything? It'll change a couple things here and there, but overall, it's not going to change the the big financial picture. And that's why you see these things happening in other countries. You see in the UK, just like the headline we just looked at, steep rise in bankruptcies, inflation going up globally, right? Why would it be going up globally if it's just a matter of leadership here in the US, folks? This is way beyond what any new politician is going to come in and fix in November. I know we just had the convention and people were raising their flags and cheering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I wish I was excited to some people about, uh, you know, a possible changeover um, in November. In fact, a changeover would actually probably mean more inflation because remember what happened from 2016 to 2020, uh, the Fed was being pressured to keep rates suppressed, right? That's what was happening. So you might even see inflation get worse if we have a change of batter here coming up in November. Um, Wolf Street had a report out today. Foreign buyers are still gobbling up U.S. dollar-denominated debt. Um, so with the BRICS nations coming out, supposedly coming out with gold-integrated currency, uh, why are we still seeing so many foreign investors gobble up the debt? Or could it be all just central banks around the world uh, gobbling up this debt in order to keep rates suppressed and in order to keep the dollar uh, relevant, right? So um, don't underestimate the power of central banks, folks. Around the world, central banks uh, unlimited currency creation powers. That means at the click of a mouse, they can create trillions of dollars. They can buy up bonds. They can buy up treasuries, buy up all this dollar-denominated debt, and they can keep rates artificially suppressed. It's when something happens with the central bank. What if we see the central banks get uh, cyber attacked? Or what if we see a glitch? What if we see something go wrong where things don't go as planned as far as this 
debt purchases, right? The debt markets. Uh, credit card charge offs rose in the first half of 2024. Uh, that's according to Chase. Uh, the question here from this article, are they bracing for a recession? So first of all, why would credit card charge offs rise if the consumer was strong, if the consumer's resilient? Right? We know just the opposite. The consumer's not strong. Uh, more people are getting put into the paycheck to paycheck category as we go along. Things are moving towards a financial cliff. Uh, so will something big come in to cover up this whole mess, right? Uh, something bigger than we saw today. I think today was just the tip of the iceberg. Um, what did I say at the beginning of the video? Today was just the test run, I think, for something even bigger, something more massive, something more disruptive uh, to come at us here down the road. Uh, speaking of sound money here, uh, Uganda presents purchase plan to return to the gold standard, folks. The world can see, a lot of people anyway, not everybody, the world can see that this currency creation, this fiat money system is a recipe for disaster. And um, there's some preparations being made for something different. Uh, will it be a nightmare? Will it be the central bank digital currency nightmare, complete control surveillance state? Or will we see at some point a move towards maybe some sort of um, honest, freedom-based type of monetary system, or do we have no hope? Uh, I, try to I try to present a picture of hope. I've said here many times that I think ultimately we're going to go back to sound currency after the nightmare of these fiat currencies plays out. Uh, how long is that going to be? I'm hoping not much longer, but uh, my fear is that it could be playing out uh, much longer than any of us want, right? But I do try to present a picture of hope at the end, uh, some sort of uh, honest system of money at the end, sound money. So I always say keep stacking, keep your eyes on the news here, watch where your money's at, be ready for something big, folks. Uh, please make sure you subscribe. We're going to navigate this economy together, uh, this financial situation. And I think uh, some storm clouds are not just here. They're uh, they're coming down. And again, today was just uh tip of the iceberg, folks. What do you think about all this? Let me know down in the comments. Until next time, keep stacking big love. Bye for now. Peace.